everyone. So, today I have a review on the Maybelline Master Conceal, and this is from the Face Studio line, and I have mine in the color of light medium. And there is 12 mils of product, or 0.4 fluid ounces. Um, I had seen this in the new display in Walgreens, and I thought, I do love my Age Rewind. Uh, this is in the color light. I have the color light. I have the color medium. I have neutralizer, and I have brightener. So, uh, this is $8.99, and I think it, it comes in five colors, I think. I think it's fair, light, light medium, medium, and medium deep. I'm sorry about the light changing in and out, but that's the sun for you. Seriously. Anyway, so I had picked this up, and, um, you know, I was curious, because I love this, and I'm going to kind of compare it to this. So, uh, let me show you what... I do appreciate the squeeze tube. That I do appreciate. And I'm going to show you on the back of my hand. So let me just... Now the texture of this is very creamy. Um, it has a nice slip to it. But I'm going to put this one beside it. And this is in the color light. I take my top off. So this one is the new Maybelline Master Conceal, and this one is the Maybelline Age Rewind. So, my thoughts. How I put a lot of my products to the test is I will either, when I'm putting my makeup on, or on Mondays, I clean. So. I look like a crazy woman a lot of times on a Monday. Thank God no one comes by because they'd really be thinking there is something wrong with her. Uh, so, when I clean, it's not like I'm, you know, taking a duster. I, I usually wind up sweating. I look like a hobo, hot mess. But I'm cleaning. And, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to impress anybody. But that's how I know, like, if a product will stand up to the test because I'm really doing some heavy duty stuff. So, uh, first, the color light medium is not a good color. That is, it is very, very, very yellow based. To me, the Age Rewind is more neutral based. Unless you're buying like, well, the neutralizer, then it will be yellow. Or if you're buying the brightener, it's more in a pink. Second, um, the Master Conceal, I really feel is a little more pigmented, which is nice for the drugstore. Uh, it's nice to find, and I, when I think of a heavy-duty concealer, I think of like MAC Pro Longwear, which I have, but I only use it as an eyelid primer. For me, under my eyes is... Oh, you, you get the crunchy. For anybody that is new that doesn't know what crunchy, I make up my own words, I tell you. Uh, crunchy is wrinkles. I call them crunchy. Um, so, you know, I put this on, and when I use concealer, uh, and I will be doing a demo next week with the Eve Pearl, by the way. Someone had asked about it. Um, I actually have it on today. Um you know, testing it out, but when I put this on, I normally put, and you're going to, I mean, I have shadows. That's another thing, too. This light is just, anyway. So, when I do my concealer, most of my darkness, and you can still see it no matter how much I put on, even here, my bag creates a shadow. This bag, this thing right here, I have to have surgically removed. It's not something like it's just a little puffy. No. Um, that used to be a running joke because my father would always say to me, you look so tired. And I'd tell him, you know, you gave me these. So you should, like, you know, 
pay for my surgery to have it removed. And I did check into surgery, and uh, a friend of mine had it done. And the nice thing is it was done locally. She didn't have to go under anest major anesthesia. And hers, she had done because she had hyperthyroidism. And that will tend to make your eyes bulge, but it also gave her bags, which she never had, and gave her hoods. So she's like, oh, go f And I'm like, well, how much is it just? She goes, no, go for the whole thing. Uh, anyway, so I, I did, you know, look into it. You know, maybe someday I will do it. Uh, but anyway, see, I digress all the time. So I had put this on, and my, my main thing is I take a very tiny, tiny, tiny concealer brush from e.l.f. I think it's the dollar one. And I will put a lighter color inside. So if you have bags, you're basically, if anything, you want to try to highlight the area where the shadow is. You don't want to highlight here because we don't want to add more attention to the bag. Mine are really bad. It is what it is. But, um, so I had used this in here. And then what I do is I'll take a medium colored, like this I have a medium, and it's not too dark for me. And if I have any other area that needs concealing on my eye, and I use a beauty blender. I don't like to use um, a brush because I feel like it kind of accentuates any of the crunchiness. I use a beauty blender so it's pressed in. My finger even doesn't do it. And so I will pounce the, you know, the beauty blender or my Real Techniques underneath the eye and I let it dry then I set it I don't go right in after I put concealer on because I feel like it just I, I put such a light dusting of powder, which I do with the damp beauty blender by the way that there's less product, less chance of it caking up. I know a lot of people go right in because then, you know, it's tacky and you want something to adhere to it. I don't do that. I wait for it to dry. So when I had put this on, first of all, I wasn't crazy about the color, but I thought, oh, I could, well, I'll work with it. Um, I feel like, especially like right in here, it accentuated the crunchiness. Now, I know that there are people that really like this. My friend Norma, who I mentioned in another video. Um, she's also under 30. She really likes this. She's been using this in her get ready with me's and things like that. So, again, this, it's definitely more pigmented. It is creamy. It's creamy like the Mac Pro Longwear. Mac Pro Long is very creamy. I like the Mac Pro Longwear as an eyeshadow base more than a concealer. I don't, you know, if I have marks, which, unless it's like I have a major event, like for example, when I get married, if I wind up with a pimple, obviously I'm going to try to cover it up, we have pictures taken, that kind of thing. But on a real, everyday, real life, what you see is what you get. So if I have a pimple and it's not covered, it's not covered, you know. I don't get myself crazy over little things like that. It is... I definitely, it's not, I would say it's more of a good medium coverage than true full-on like the MAC Pro Longwear. I feel like the MAC Pro Longwear is like full-on, bam, you need the tiniest amount. This, I feel like, is a really good medium coverage. Um, so if you're looking for a new, oh my god, I just ramble, I tell you. If you're looking for a new concealer, it's creamy like comparable to this, it is creamy, it is a little more pigmented than this, yeah really, see I don't edit, this is more pigmented, I do feel, than this product, but for me, this is still my go-to, um, I really enjoy this, I'm trying to get used to the Eve Pearl, that whole, I bought the Salmon Concealer Duo from QVC, that review will be coming. I'm trying to get used to working with the creams in, in a pot. And again, with concealer, I use a beauty blender. I just feel like it blends in so much better. It melds, another one of my own words, into my skin. And um, 
Yeah, so it this is a nice product. Um, it just, I feel like it really accentuated what I have. And then I super moisturize my under eye area. I don't, um, I put my hyaluronic acid around my whole eye, put uh, Matrixel 3000 around my whole eye, and then I go in with my CeraVe eye cream, which I have a review, did a long time ago. Um, and then I let it all settle, and then I take my little brush and go in. But like I said, I have to be very careful because I'm not looking to highlight the bag. So I can't do all that highlighting and, you know, I can highlight under here, but to literally go into over my, my under eye area, I can't because I'm, I'd be highlighting my bag. It would look even worse. So, um, $8.99, it is a decent concealer, you know, for, for coverage um, from the drugstore, but for me, it didn't work under my eyes, and that's where, you know, mainly where I use concealer. Um, I will stick with my Age Rewind for now. So, um, the next concealer that I'll be doing the video on, a review, will be the Eve Pearl. So, I thank you all so much for watching. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you have this product and you love it, let me know down in the comments below as well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.